hey guys, and another snake. <laughs> have an eastern garter snake. This guy was just chilling out in the cave out there. I actually just grabbed him. He was just, like I said, under, in there, just on one of the rocks. So this guy, as I was saying before, is an eastern garter snake. And these guys are actually rear fang venomous. So for all of you who want to see venomous snake handling, here you go. But these guys are, as I was saying, rear fang venomous. They are coolabrids though. So, and they are very common around here. These guys are one of the first snakes to come out in the spring. And even though now, by now it's August, they're a little harder to find as are most snakes. But yeah, so this is an Eastern garter snake. I'm gonna get a few photos, maybe finish off the video and then let him go. Alrighty, so I got a few pits and now I'll let him go right back where I found him. Oh, I guess, I guess he knew that there was a hole there. All right. I thought he was going to go back to over there where I caught him, but if he knows the hole, he knows the hole. All righty, so at 10 feet away from the last snake, I found this big boy. This is an eastern black rat snake. And now this is actually one of my favorite snakes to find in New Jersey, just mainly because of their demeanor. These are... Actually, I think these are my favorite snakes in New Jersey, or at least that I've caught, because pine snakes, I haven't caught those, but they're pretty cool. But Eastern rat snakes are a very cool species. They are one of the largest snakes in New Jersey. This individual is at least, I would say, may, I would say he's at least three feet, possibly even four, because and he is muscular as ever because rat snakes they are highly arboreal so that means that they climb a lot and they are very good climbers and they use their big muscular bodies to grip around and hold on to things because if you look i can pretty much if he gets a good grip on me he can just hang here and be fully fine and he was just climbing up a tree probably I can see it from here. It was literally five, ten feet away from where the last snake was, which is actually right there. You can't really see it, but that's where he was. Your head's on the wrong side, my guy. But rat snakes are also incredibly calm. They do not bite, really, and they're just a really awesome species. All right, so I'm definitely going to get a few pits of this guy, and then I'll let him go. So, as I was saying, rat snakes are incredibly calm. This guy is just chilling on my neck, and this isn't a pet snake. This is a wild-caught rat snake, and no, he is not hurt or anything. He is just completely calm on me, and he feels safe because he is at a very high point. So, he feels safe, he's not on the ground, and now he's slithering down my back. Alrighty, so here's showing you the arborealness of a black rat snake. I was just standing by the tree, and he decided to climb off me and onto it. And here you can see, as I'm saying, just how good of a climber they are. This thin branch, this snake is masterfully keeping himself up on. Just slithering at the end. Now, another reason why this is by far one of if not the my favorite snake species in new jersey the branches also slowly get it lower as this guy is quite heavy as he's journeying to the end of the branch but let's see what he decides to do at the end just gonna let him go something was in that oh no that might have just been the fallen branch But yeah, he's just, see turning around? He realized this branch really isn't going to take him. Now he's going to go on this even skinnier branch. Let me duck under here. You want to focus on the snake, not the tree around it? Please? There we go. That's better. So, 
fully stretched out on this branch, not even wrapped around it, just <laughs> the branch keeps getting weighed down more and more because he is a quite heavy snake. And I think this is a boy here, let's see. The cloake is about, he's fine. Cloake, ah. No, this might be a girl because that looks to be a, quite short of a tail. So, this gal is quite heavy. Now, rat snakes can actually get up to six feet, which, that's a pretty big snake. But, now one of the largest snakes, but pretty nice size. So, I'm just going to leave her here. That the garter snake was found in here. And she can just chill out on this branch and decide where she wants to go from here. Or she can keep going down. Let's see what she decides. If this branch goes all the way to the ground, she'd be like home free. But didn't she realize that's not the right way to go? Gonna look at this little branch. Think that can support support you, little girl? Big girl? No. They're very intelligent snakes. So, she knows the way to get down from here. She'll figure it out. She's not gonna, just gonna fall out of the tree. She realizes that it, she's heavy for it and it's bending under her weight. See her sensing everything with her tongue. Right here. I'll leave her here and let her be on her way. But absolutely gorgeous black rat snake. Just stunning snake and massive size. All right, adios girl. So there's this little marsh here. And I'm gonna see if anything's around it. I'll take you guys because if any frogs hop in, you can, there's a spider web, so I have to go around this way. You guys can see some frogs hop again that I wouldn't always catch because they don't have a net on me. But maybe also possibly a garter snake. There's another little frog there. Another frog. Another frog. Frogs are very common around here. Another frog. Because usually in the spring, this area is very wet. There's a massive amount of vernal pools, but come later in the season, in the summer, a lot of them dry up and you're left with only a few permanent ponds. But all that's here are the frogs. I don't see any snakes hanging out on these branches or any turtles. So keep going. Oh no, there we go. I don't think I'll be able to, you saw it. That was a juvenile water snake that went right in the water. I hope you guys saw that because I did. I did, but I was not gonna be able to catch that guy. All right, I'm actually gonna check the footage to see if you guys saw that.